we are not appointed to wrath, but to obtain salvation through Christ. In his second letter to the Thessalonians, Paul explains the timing of this and what will occur after that moment. Listen carefully and see the amazing parallel to what occurred in Sodom. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Paul notes that the restrainer will first be taken out of the way. This is the promise, the guarantee of the Holy Spirit. If we have the Holy Spirit as a guarantee, and he is taken out and we are not, then that was not a very good guarantee. In fact, it was a pretty crummy one. Rather, God is faithful to keep us safe from the coming tribulation period. The next thing to notice is that it says in verse 8 that then the lawless one will be revealed. This is speaking of the Antichrist. If the Antichrist is only revealed after the one who restrains is taken out of the way, then that means that we will not know who the Antichrist is. So why watch a lot of nonsense videos that supposedly point out who he is? They've always failed and they will continue to do so because our focus in the church is to be on Christ, not on this person.